Hello, it's Daryl here. What you're about to hear is this past Friday's episode of Goalmouth, the bite-sized soccer news podcast that Total Soccer Show does in collaboration with Hello Magazine and Dirty Tackle. This episode is hosted by Ryan Bailey, a compatriot of mine whose work I've come to really enjoy, not just on Goalmouth, but everywhere else as well. So I wanted to introduce Total Soccer Show listeners to Ryan Bailey's episodes of Goalmouth. This particular episode features the correct pronunciation of Anton Griezmann, which I think we've been doing incorrectly, and the best basketball reference ever in a soccer podcast. I'm pretty confident. So please take a listen. And if you like what you hear, then please go find Goalmouth in your uh, podcast provider. Click subscribe and support our other show. Thank you. And here's Ryan. Coming up on today's Goalmouth podcast, Antoine Griezmann is Superman, Carlo Ancelotti weighs in on the pro-rel debate, the Italian side that changes managers more often than Donald Trump tweets, Real Madrid's failed lawsuit and the skinny on the UEFA Nations League. Yeah, that's right, the skinny. I like late 1960s slang. Anyway, it's Friday, January 26th. I'm Ryan Bailey and this is the Goalmouth podcast brought to you by Bojangles' famous chicken and biscuits, delivering your favourite southern staple since 1977. It's bow time. Yeah, all right, we're not actually sponsored by Bojangles, but we do need a sponsor, and I'd like some free Bojangles, so it's worth a shot, even if it misses, which is actually Daniel Sturridge's mantra, I believe. Anyway, on with our first story. Antoine Griezmann is a tiny superhero, and he's going to play a tiny superhero in a new movie. Yes, the Atletico Madrid hitman has revealed on Facebook that he'll be voicing Superman in the French version of the Lego Batman movie, which is entitled Lego Batman, le film en français. Sounds so much classier doesn't it? Griezmann joins a long line of footballers who voiced alternate language versions of animated blockbusters. Blockbusters? Lego? Blocks? Yeah. With Manuel Neuer lending his tones to Monsters University and Andre Iniesta playing an albino pirate in the Aardman film Pirates, which is about pirates. Now, the role of Superman doesn't even have a listing on IMDb on the English version of the film, so I'm guessing Griezmann's role will be even smaller than his role in the most recent Thief Pro 11. Ya burn! But we'll be able to find out when the film comes out on février. That's uh, February. Next up, as part of the Gomez promise to bring you the latest American soccer news every morning, Carlo Ancelotti has had his say on the pro-rel debate. Speaking to Gab Marcotti for ESPN, the Italian, who was recently married in Canada, said, I think the fact that there is no relegation hurts because it's demotivating. I watched Vancouver and they weren't doing so well, but hey, what changes if they finish last? They don't get relegated, they still get paid. But that's the structure of US sports and you have to respect it. Yes, you do have to respect it. And if you don't, you become that person on Twitter who constantly talks about pro-rel to the extent you can't even figure out how they manage to hold down a day job, such as the all-consuming nature of their obsession. No names. Anyway, for more on pro-rel, do read Peter Wilt's excellent manifesto on waterhowler.com, or better still, subscribe to the mag and hold it in your hands in glorious, thick paper stock. Italian fickleness news now. On Thursday, Palermo hired former Uruguay defender Diego Lopez as their manager. What's unusual about that, you might ask? After all, tis the season to sack and Palermo a 19th in Serie A. Well, Lopez is already the third manager the club have had this season and they had eight, yes, eight managers last season. So that's a grand total of 11 managers in the past one and a half seasons, including David Balladini, who was hired and fired twice last year and who'd already been Paloma manager before. So that's three times in total. The conclusion, owner Maurizio Zamperini isn't a big fan of stability. Real Madrid litigation news now. In 2013, Catalan TV channel TV3 was sued for the equivalent of $6.7 million after broadcasting a two-minute clip that unfavourably portrayed Los Blancos players as wild animals and showed Pepe wearing a digitally imposed Hannibal Lecter face mask. But according to the Daily Mail, Spain's top judges have thrown out the case because it didn't breach acceptable boundaries of freedom of expression. And also... It was a Catalan channel where there might be a reasonable expectation of some Madrid mockery. It seems a little petty for Real to go after the channel like this. After all, what other world power will get so sensitive about parody media coverage when they really should be concentrating on much, much more important things? Yeah, don't answer that. And finally, the format of the UEFA Nations League has been revealed. Hurrah! I know you were desperately waiting for it. 
If you need reminding, this is the meaningless tournament that's going to replace meaningless international friendlies in Europe. Starting in 2018, 55 teams will compete. And as for the format, well, if the Beers beat Detroit and Denver beats Atlanta in the American Southwestern Division East Northern, then Milwaukee goes to the Denslow Cup. Unless Baltimore can upset Buffalo and Charlotte ties Toronto, then Oakland will play LA and Pittsburgh in a blind choice round robin. And if no clear winner emerges from all this, a two-man sack race will be held on consecutive Sundays until a champion can be crowned. Click the link in the show notes or in the Goldmouth newsletter for genuine details of that tournament rather than just lengthy basketball references. All right, that's your lot for today. Thank you so much for listening. Brooks Peg is on the wheels of steel on Monday. Please do tell your friends to give us a listen. Please do leave us an iTunes review if you haven't. And please do tell the CEO of Bojangles to send me free delicious fried chicken. I leave you with today's Goldmouth top tip. If you want to increase the price Manchester United are going to pay for you, get an IMDB credit. Love to your mothers. See you next time.